Um, but when I started the process, I was, um, and I still am, but I was very involved with the um, writing project. And I don't know if you are familiar with Richard Luth's uh, writing marathons. Richard is um, the director of the Southeastern Writing Project. And he leads a group every summer. Pretty much, I don't know, I haven't been every summer, but he's, um, he does a group of um, writers in New Orleans and we just, all we do is write for three days, um, going place to place. And um, in the summer of 2009, I went to that and it was based on fiction. So what we were doing is we were reading fiction sh short stories and then as we were going through the marathon, we were writing a fiction story. Cool. And I worked with um, two other writers, and by the end of the three days, each of us had a short story. And that was the very first time. I have written for a long time, but mostly what I, I enjoy writing is poetry. And it was the first time I'd ever written fiction and, um, and felt somewhat successful at it. Mm -hmm. um, also that summer, I was teaching a... Um, a writing camp, and this delightful little girl named Blessin was in my writing camp. She told me the story of her name, how it came from the Bible. She was a real girly girl. She wore jewelry every day and <laughs> sparkly things, and she was only nine years old. And it just, um, her personality inspired Blessin, but she is, of course, not Blessin. Um, because I don't know this child well enough to know her story, but um, because it was just a week of writing camp. Um, but, but following that writing camp, I went to a workshop led by Sharon Arms Doucet, who is an author of Louisiana literature. Um, she's written Fiddle Fever, which is a young adult novel. She's also written um, Alligator Sue, which is a delightful children's book. And, um, and I've known her um, ever since I, since I taught her son in third grade. But mm -hmm. she, um, she was doing a workshop, and I wanted to attend because I had this new love of fiction and wanting to learn how to write fiction. So the drive to the workshop was an hour-long drive on back roads passing through St. Martinville and um, other small towns along the Bayou Teche. That started the inspiration. I, you know, the story began there. I, it started to come to me there. Um, the voice of blessing came into my head as I was driving along. And at that workshop, I wrote, um, actually, I wrote the Piggly Wiggly chapter that you were talking about mm -hmm. me, uh, having mm -hmm. me read, um, because there were some overheard conversations that made it um, mm -hmm. just so easy to write. Um, and, and from then, I didn't really know it was going to be a book at that point. At that point, I was just writing for fun. And um, it took a few years and some prodding. <laughs> That's where Stephanie comes in. Okay. Um, because the more people I uh, read it to in writing groups and worked with and um, sent it to for them to read and give me advice on, the more encouragement I got to actually see it through to publication. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how the process cool. began. 